Rebby Jackson is an American singer and the eldest child of the Jackson family of musicians. She first performed on stage with her siblings during shows in Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in 1974 before subsequently appearing in the television series The Jacksons. At age 34, she released her debut album Centipede in 1984. The album featured songs written by Smokey Robinson, Prince, and her younger brother Michael, whose contribution, which was the title track Centipede, became Rebby Jackson's most successful single release. By the end of the 1980s, she had released two more albums, Reaction in 1986 and Are You Tough Enough in 1988. Following a seven-year hiatus in her musical career, Rebby Jackson returned with a cover of Forever Young for the Free Willy 2 The Adventure Home soundtrack before the release of the 1998 album Yours Faithfully three years later. The production of the album, her last to date, was a collaboration with artists and producers such as Men of Vision, Spanky Williams, Keith Thomas, and Elliot Kennedy. It also featured contributions from her children. Rebby Jackson has an estimated net worth of three million U.S. dollars. About Rebby Jackson's early life Maureen Rylette Jackson was born on May 29, 1950, at 2300 Jackson Street in Gary, Indiana. She's the first daughter of Joseph Walter Joe Jackson, who was born in 1928 and died in 2018, and Catherine Esther Jackson, who was born in 1930. Rebby Jackson is also the eldest of their 10 children. Her siblings are Jackie Jackson, Tito Jackson, Jermaine Jackson, Latoya Jackson, Marlon Jackson, Brandon Jackson, who died in 1957, Michael Jackson, who died in 2009, Randy Jackson, and Janet Jackson. Rebby Jackson was raised in a working-class family. Her father was a steel mill employee who often performed in a rhythm and blues band called the Falcons with his brother Luther Jackson. Her mother is a Jehovah's Witness who raised her children to follow the religion. Rebby, Latoya, and Michael became the most devout of the children as time progressed. Reflecting on her early life, Rebby Jackson acknowledged in a 1980s magazine interview that her role within the family had been that of a second mother to her younger siblings, whom she would often babysit, along with her eldest brother, Jackie Jackson. In 1968, she graduated from Theodore Roosevelt High School in Gary. Rebby Jackson is 5 feet 2 inches tall or 1.57 meters tall. About Rebby Jackson's personal life the 18-year-old Rebby Jackson's announcement that she wanted to marry her childhood love Nathaniel Brown in November 1968 created division in the Jackson family. She expressed her feelings for the man and proclaimed that she wanted to move with him to Kentucky. Her mother, Catherine, encouraged her to proceed, feeling that being a wife and mother were important roles for all of her daughters. But her father, Joseph Jackson, opposed the marriage. He wanted Rebby to follow in her brother's footsteps and become a singer and felt that married life would stop her from becoming a success in the entertainment business. Rebby Jackson had taken clarinet, piano, and dance lessons in her childhood, but had no interest in a music career, even though, according to Jermaine Jackson, she had won several singing contests duetting with Jackie Jackson. Rebby Jackson thought a happy home was more comforting and secure than the instability of show business. She also wanted to leave her family's drama-filled home on Jackson Street and escape her controlling father. Arguments ensued for several weeks before her father relented and allowed her to marry Nathaniel Brown, but he refused to walk her down the aisle. Rebby Jackson and Nathaniel Brown had three children, daughters Stacy Brown, who was born in 1971, Yashi Brown, who was born in 1977, and son Austin Brown, who was born on November 22, 1985. Rebby Jackson's husband, Nathaniel Brown, died of cancer on January 6, 2013. About Rebby Jackson's professional career Now, Rebby Jackson began her singing career in 1974, performing with her siblings in Las Vegas. The Vegas shows had initially begun in April without Rebby due to a sprained ankle. Rebby's debut was postponed until June. Her five brothers were the main draws with Rebby, Randy, Janet, and LaToya serving as fillers for the performances. When the Jackson Five parted with their record label Motown in 1976, they signed to CBS Records and rebranded themselves the Jacksons. Additionally, the brothers were signed to CBS TV to star with their family in a variety series called The Jacksons. The show premiered in June 1976 and featured all of the siblings, excluding Jermaine Jackson, who had chosen to stay with Motown. The initial series run of the 30-minute programs was four weeks. Due to rating success, more episodes were ordered in January 1977. 
The show marked the first time that an African-American family had ever starred in a television series. The run of programs concluded shortly afterward. Prior to the series, Rebby Jackson had thought of her singing as merely a private hobby. Her television experience, as well as an early love of musicals, motivated her to become a professional recording artist, and the show's producer encouraged her to sing. She served as a backing vocalist for several musicians around this time, as well as a cabaret singer. She contributed her voice for songs by such artists as The Emotions, Sonny Bono, and Betty Wright, before her second pregnancy stalled her musical career for a short time. At the age of 34, Rebby Jackson released her debut album, Centipede, in 1984. The album featured songs written by Smokey Robinson, Prince, and her younger brother, Michael Jackson, whose contribution of the title track, Centipede, became Rebby's most successful single release. By the end of the 1980s, the singer had released two more albums, Reaction in 1986 and Are You Tough Enough in 1988. Following a seven-year hiatus in her musical career, Rebby Jackson returned with a cover of Forever Young for the Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home soundtrack before the release of the 1998 album Yours Faithfully three years later. The production of the album, her last to date, was a collaboration with artists and producers such as Men of Vision, Spanky Williams, Keith Thomas, and Elliot Kennedy. It also featured contributions from her children. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for taking time to watch today. We'd love it if you'd share this video with a friend and go ahead and give us a like as well.